This story we put up a few days ago on, uh, on InfoWars was on the health section. And we gave it the headline, Leukemia, leukemia causing chemical is lurking in your pantry. And this is from the blog, Whole Food, Real Food, Good Food. And I actually know the person who started this blog. I've known her since college. She's a good friend of my wife's. Her name is uh, Julie Hornbecker. And basically, she was a stay-at-home mom. She started looking at the ingredients on the back of the food that she was feeding her kids and her husband and started doing research on it. She uses natural news a lot. She tells me she's a big fan of Mike Adams. And by doing all this research and stuff, she goes, you know, I ought to share this information with people. So she started a blog with the help of her husband and some other people. And now she writes articles, she puts them up. Now, the one thing I do want to say, Julie, if you're out there watching this, um, your headline needs a little work. We can go to her blog right there. Her headline is Sodium Benzoate. That doesn't make me want to read the article. The whole article is about Sodium Benzoate. I guess it's how you Benzoate, and um, I guess that's how you say it. But I, when I looked at it, I read the article and I said, this is what the headline we're going with. I sent the guys the link. I said, give, the, give it this headline. Leukemia causing chemicals lurking in your pantry. Because it has in there, in this article, that they stopped using it in rubber manufacturing, uh, the, the benzoate, when rubber workers in there were getting leukemia and these mass amounts, just massive amounts of leukemia was going on and cell damage. But this, this uh, chemical is more toxic than high fructose corn syrup. And it's used as a preservative in uh, acidic products. And when it mixes with vitamin C, which is in a lot of acidic products, it, it creates benzene, which is a cancer-causing chemical. So on top of it causing leukemia, it could also cause cancer, and it's in a lot of stuff. So you ought to start looking at the back of those labels and start realizing what you're putting in your body. Start putting organic food into your body. Start drinking clean water. Get it filtered. Uh, we have products at the InfoWars store to help you out with that. And do your own research. Here's a uh, stay-at-home mother who just decided to do her own research and put out her findings. And it's funny, when her article got linked on InfoWars, uh, she called my wife and said, I think I did something wrong. Um, I put an FDA quote in there and I'm getting tons of hits. Was it because of that? I said, no, you got the InfoWars bump. That's what happened. Uh, because we have a lot of people that come to our website who are hungry for real knowledge. They're not looking for who's wearing what and who's kissing who and this and that, which you find any other place. They're looking for real knowledge that they can use in their own lives and how their lives are being affected. That's why, you know, when InfoWars has a big celebrity on, people don't care that much. You know, people just want information. The people that come to our site and the people that share our information, they want real information. And that's why this article is so good. And it's somebody out there just like you who just decided to start doing it. I've been watching a lot of these Paul Revere entries and one of them that I'm going to get David Knight if I think he's doing the news tomorrow to play is uh, one where they just show uh, nightly news clips one after another where they're all saying the same exact thing and it's not just at the same station it's different stations at different cities you can actually see the talking points and he does it not just one time he does it five times during this this video and it's like an eight minute video he just puts them all together and just shows you how the media is brainwashing you because that's what they're doing. They have teleprompters. They have scripts. They're all reading the same thing. I don't. If I went and did the news again, I would probably say everything in different ways and bring up different points that I have because that's how my mind works. I don't have to write this stuff down because I've been living it for the last, you know, four or five years working here. But even before that, I've been hungry for this information because it, you can't find it anywhere. You just can't. So it's good to see people out there really doing their own investigative work, people like James O'Keefe and my friend Julie. Um, over in Virginia who's doing her own blog. It's great to see people getting out there doing citizen journalism. That's why you need to carry a camera with you everywhere you go. Now, before we go to the quote of the day, we have a really interesting special report, a, uh, a little news blurby, as done by Leanne McAdoo. It talks about head transplants and, uh, well, and another good use for the 3D printable computer. And we go to that report right now. In this week's Weird Science, technological advances are revealing some real-life Dr. Frankensteins. Full human head transplants could be coming soon, according to a recent paper in Surgical Neurology International. Scientists have done head transplants on animals for the past 40 years, but they were never able to connect the spinal cord of the head to the donor body, and this left the animals paralyzed from the neck down. But Dr. Sergio Cannavaro said the technology only now exists to reconnect surgically severed spinal cords. 
With the donor and recipient in the same operating room, surgeons cool the donor head between 55 and 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, both heads must be rapidly removed at the same time, reconnecting the head to the donor's body and circulatory system within one hour. Once the head is reattached, the heart can be restarted and doctors can keep working to reconnect the spinal cord. Conavero says the procedure requires an ultra-sharp blade. The clean cut is vital to spinal fusion since it creates a seamless edge that encourages the body's natural healing process to fuse and reconstruct. Full head transplants could help paraplegics and people with muscular dystrophy who could benefit from having an entirely new body. Buttercup the duck can waddle and swim thanks to a prosthetic 3D printed foot. The bird who was born with its left foot turned backwards could only hobble around until 3D printing company Novacopy was called in to help. The company made a 3D model of Buttercup's sister's foot, then printed the prosthetic out of silicone. And the first IVF baby to be pre-screened for pre-existing diseases has been born in the United States. Connor Levi was born on May 18th after a Philadelphia couple had cells from their in vitro fertilization embryos sent to specialists who checked them for abnormalities. Scientists looked at chromosomes in the embryos to select those with the proper chromosome count for a better chance of leading to a healthy baby. Baby Connor demonstrates how next generation sequencing is poised to transform embryo selection. But the prospect of designer babies is unlikely anytime soon. According to fertility specialist Dagan Wells, IVF is still expensive and uncomfortable, with no guarantee of a baby at the end. I can't imagine many people wanting to go through the strains of IVF for something trivial. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. So I guess when we elect the next president, we should just take the head from the previous president, just put it on the new president. And People won't notice. They'll probably even love it. They'll probably think it's a big novelty thing. We just rotated the heads of our presidents. That was some great graphics there, Leanne. Good job on that report. We go now to the quote of the day, and it is from Frederick Douglass. Where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, and where any one class is made to feel that society is an organized conspiracy to oppress, rob, and degrade them, neither persons nor property will be safe. And that was Frederick Douglass. And I've got this cool piece of artwork here of Frederick Douglass. And we're, we're going to have a new uh, kind of entertainment pop culture type wall. And we're going to have a ton of these up. A lot of political figures. But look at that. Look how that shines. And that's done by a local artist, uh, Frank Trevino. We have been uh, plucking his talents and getting him to just really work on some really cool pieces. We've got some amazing art. I can't wait to show this wall off. I've been uh, moving the pictures around. We're about to put it together. And that'll be one of the next sets that we're going to have here at the InfoWars Nightly News. And that's not even our big set that we're working on now. That is going to be tremendous. And I can't wait to show that one off. That's all I'm going to say about that. And really big stuff coming down the pike here at InfoWars.com. So we do appreciate your support, especially those PrisonPlanet.tv members. If you are watching this on YouTube, please consider becoming a member of Prison Planet TV. You got the Alex Jones Show, the Nightly News, the Special Reports, the movies, the rants, the ebooks. It's all there. Brothers in Arms there is the third uh, installment where he, I actually got to shoot the 50 cal. And uh, that was really, really fun, impressive. That thing is a hand cannon, to say the least. And I would not want to be on the receiving end anywhere near that, uh, that type of weapon. So we will be back right after this message. If you're not a Prison Planet TV member, please consider becoming one. It's only $5.95 a month. And you get a 15-day free trial, and you can share your username and password with up to 11 people. So that's a good way to spread the knowledge, good way to get the information out there, good way to take this country back and take the world back. Because if we don't do it, nobody else is going to do it for us. We are the only hope for the human race because the globalists are out there trying to destroy it at this moment. Every breath they're taking, they're trying to do it. So we, with every breath we take, need to push back and stop it. Are we choosing our own paths, our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. We need to always be cognizant of, as a free society, that information can be used as a weapon. Barrier to discovery is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. We are seen as nothing but biological androids. To gain control of education in America, not for a philanthropic purpose, but to change the thinking 
of the American people. From the time we're very young, we're taught to, you know, worship authority, basically, because that's our key to survival as young children. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. And the CIA scientists could actually film people who had been surreptitiously dosed with LSD. There's a brain entrainment process that takes place. That gives the government free reign to create whatever story or narrative it wants to create. Whatever the public face of something is, whatever they're talking about publicly, there's something else over here they're probably not looking at. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would fully endorse, not only endorse, but demand a war. When you watch mainline establishment television, you are putting yourself in front of the barrel of a gun. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control, psychological warfare, brainwashing. Are we controlled and manipulated? You bet. That's mind control par excellence. Find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes with this new groundbreaking documentary film, State of Mind. Available exclusively at InfoWars.com.